women. I went to Afghanistan to create the beauty, to create the hope and to capture the resilience and femininity and hope of Afghan women in the middle of a conflict zone. I was born in Tehran and I left uh, Tehran to Afghanistan in 2013 and uh, I started to uh, photojournalism in Afghanistan since 2015. Many have drawn comparisons between the coverage of the war in Ukraine and the coverage or lack of uh, the war in Afghanistan. What are your thoughts or, or feelings about it? Actually, I, I can see that uh, how media policy is different about uh, covering uh, news or the war news especially. I mean, um, once it is, uh, war happened in Ukraine, I could see that Afghanistan disappeared from all videos. And of course now we have million refugees in different parts of the world that they are waiting to have a stable life, but everybody forget them. Covering that country for 20 years, uh, you know, it breaks our heart to see Western governments turn a blind eye not to criticize the Taliban, you know, not to really uh, put them on sanctions list, you know, like why is this happening in Ukraine, for example, with certain Russian officials, but not with Afghanistan. And I think that was the mistake that we also made with the Republic. I just saw someone yesterday said, oh, Afghanistan is the way it is because of, because what the Russians did for a decade in Afghanistan, what they've been doing in Ukraine for a month. I understand that that's a sexy thing to like, you know, try and tie two buzzy countries together, but it's a gross, gross oversimplification. So this is the differences between the policies of the media and um, I mean, uh, I, I just hope that uh, they, they just never forget Afghan refugees again, uh, even there is a crisis in Europe.